Welcome back to Notre Dame Day. Joining us now is junior Patrick Lee and sophomore Sophie Stitt, the student body president and vice president here at Notre Dame. Patrick, Sophie, welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Thank now, you, so you just got elected last month, but before the break, Patrick, you guys didn't even intend to run. What changed? <laughs> That's right. That's right. Um, to tell you the truth, not much change. Sophie and I spent a lot of our Notre Dame career up until this point just trying to give back to the students in the school. And for us, it seemed like the natural next step. So when we met together to discuss in January, it was natural, and it's been great so far. And it's kind of a progression for both of you. You were both the president of your respective residence halls. But That's right. Sophie, when you kind of said, we're going to run, were you surprised when you won? You know, I really believe in what we're doing, and I really believe in what Patrick and I had set out to do. And so it was a really wonderful um, confirmation that Notre Dame believed in what we were doing, too. It was a really special moment for ourselves and our team, who we give all the credit to. So what's your platform? Well, there's three main parts. Um, for us, a main focus is student representation and administration decisions. Uh, we also place a really large emphasis on student mental health, um, as well as making partnerships with community organizations um, to make sure that Notre Dame is a force for good in the world, as everyone's hearing about today, but also right here at home in our South Bend community. Now, I know you are just getting into your terms as president and vice president, but what kind of response are you getting from the administration, though? Because administrators like to kind of make decisions. Are they open to some of uh, the things that you want to do? Yes, sir, I would say so. Um, the Notre Dame family really runs incredibly deep, and it has been really special getting to meet with all of these administrators that really have huge jobs, are managing large uh, units at the university, and they're sitting down with us and the ta taking the time to hear from us and our team. It really has been uh, a special experience. Now, I was around this campus for 39 years, and, and people off campus, they see students having fun and partying, <laughs> but what they may not see is the pressure that you are all under here, very competitive school. Uh, you're all very, uh, very worried about succeeding in life. And you have something to deal with that I didn't when I was in college, and that's social media. So talk to me about the challenges that the average student goes through from a mental health perspective. I think for a student right now at Notre Dame, the mental health pressure mainly comes from you know, school and pressures to succeed socially. But here at Notre Dame, I think we do a very good job of making sure that every member of our community is taken care of. There are a lot of new challenges as the world progresses, and we are increasingly under a microscope. But I think Notre Dame students, you know, as we move through, you know, the decade that we're in right now, are getting the sense that their university cares for them, their professors care for them, um, and hopefully they'll know that student government cares for them. Absolutely. And you talked about more student input in university decisions, and I think a part of that, I understand, is transparency. Is there a sense that decisions are made and the students don't know why they were made? You know, that's definitely something that um, we've been working with as, you know, members of student government. I would say we see our main goal as being the bridge between um, the administration and the students, right? That is kind of our defined role. And so whether that gap exists or it doesn't, um, we've really made it our mission to be as transparent as possible. Um, we let the student body know who we're meeting with. We are sending out new newsletters. We're sending out um, different forms of media to keep students engaged. Um, and we have a fantastic communications team who really does an excellent job with that. So regardless of the situation, we hope that we're handling it well. Do you think you'll be politicians down the road? <laughs> no. Um, I don't think so. Nice. I, think, I think the best part about this job is that we're at Notre Dame, so whatever we choose to get involved with, whether people think that's as divisive as politics or as harmless as any other club, the underlying thread is that we get to be involved here at this community, and it can make even the bad days fantastic and meaningful. Yeah. Patrick, Sophie, congratulations. Thank Good you. luck. I think you're going to be very successful. Thank Thanks you so much. Thanks for taking the time to come on.